How's it going guys? I'm sitting here uh, at my computer tonight doing digging through some old videos actually that I've got on the that I've saved that I've, um, that I've taken in I don't know in the past basically and I, I came across a video uh, that I made a couple of years ago and I thought I'd drop this out here uh, for people to check out. The audio is really bad. This is before I'd kind of had my um, you know my mic system figured out so you can't really hear the audio very well but basically what I've what I'm demonstrating here is um, using my grapple attachment and not even really picking up anything. I'm basically just uh, in my backyard where it's a little bit of a hill. And as you can see, as I'm just simply trying to back up the hill um, without any weight on the back of the tractor, I can barely move. I'm just basically spinning, spinning. And then I go and, and, and throw my ballast box on and immediate traction. I'm able to, you know, get around and, and move and, and uh, actually get some work done. So. This, um, for anybody who, anybody who has a grapple, you know these things are pretty heavy. I think mine's a Land Pride. Um, it's the 60 inch. I know some guys complain. They've got the, I don't know, I think there's, I think Land Pride makes like a 54, 55 inch um, that <clears throat> is not as heavy duty and not as, as well uh, reinforced. And people talk about breaking teeth and stuff like that. The 60 inch is a, is a tough grapple. Um, I don't, I don't think you'd break that, at least not with one of these little tractors, but anyway, it's heavy. It, it weighs, um, I'm not sure how much it weighs to be honest with you, <clears throat> but, it, but there's a lot of weight there. So anytime you've got a, got that grapple on the top, on the front, it's pretty much mandatory that you've got some weight on the back and, um, just kind of giving you a demonstration here. And, and, uh, you know, I know obviously, um, you know, if I'm doing any work on hills and stuff, I'm always in, you know, front wheel assist or four wheel drive, whatever you want to call it. But, um, but I guess I, I don't like to always be in four wheel drive and I don't know if it really hurts anything necessarily, but it just seems to me that, you know, I, I guess I'm always thinking about, you know, go back to vehicles and I go back to, you know, thinking about being in a truck and I only use four wheel drive when it's really necessary because I just figure it's more, you know, wear and tear, um, on the front differential and transfer case and everything. And, you know, if you're not on, you know, if you get on kind of firm surface and, and, you know, you don't, you, you cut, you bind a little bit, it's just extra wear and tear on stuff. So anyway, long story short, I use four wheel drive when it makes sense um, and when I really need it, but I don't like to run around all the time. So um, again, just kind of a quick demonstration here, uh, what a difference it makes to have weight on the back. I'm sure anybody who's got a tractor, you know, and has lifted a lot of weight has, has figured this out pretty quick firsthand too, but it's kind of interesting to see on video just what a difference, make, uh, difference it makes. So anyway, here you go, enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick video here, uh, kind of a before and after or comparison of uh, the tractor with uh, no ballast box, I tractor with ballast box. Um, working on the, I mean, really hardly any grade here at all. Uh, very slight grade. Ground's a little bit damp. Um, getting ready to move this brush pile around, but I just want to kind of give you an idea what a difference this makes. Without the ballast box, I just I had no traction at all. I couldn't get anything done with the ballast box. Box on, 
Uh, it's just an incredible difference you can make. I'm a two-wheel drive, don't have to run around on four-wheel drive, and uh, excellent traction with, with those R4 tires. So anyway, I wasn't really sure how big it would be. I knew it would help, obviously, but I wasn't exactly sure uh, how much better it would be with, with the ballast box, and it's, it makes an incredible difference. So uh, if you're thinking about getting one, I would definitely do it. It makes a big difference in, in 